Visible satellite imagery showing a lot of cloud cover through the area and plenty more offshore that will be working in. But look at our first alert Doppler radar. Notice there is no green specks on there because we are still just dry enough in the atmosphere. Now the reason for this wind, high pressure and low pressure near each other, that gives us almost a wind tunnel effect. And that's exactly what is happening for us in Central Florida. And until those two systems break down, we're stuck with this, so to speak. So rip currents continue at the area beaches, small craft caution out there, just best to stay on the sand until we get those winds calming down. But it's breezy to even windy beachside today. Uh, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour. Considerable cloudiness overhead too. 81 degrees does it in the villages. We'll max out at 82 in Claremont. 81 degrees in Orlando. 79 Daytona Beach. And 80 degrees in Titusville. Now here's future cast. All right, starting at 3.30. And we see one or two sprinkles in there. And we'll watch through sunset tonight. Sunsets uh, just after 5 o'clock. About 5.30 or so this evening. And it's indicating a few sprinkles. Do I think that the sheer coverage of this is a little high? Sure, but it does indicate sprinkles. So we'll keep that in the forecast, a 10% coverage of seeing it into your area, continuing through the overnight stretch and even into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, of course, that big commitment 2016. That's when we get to go out to the vote stations and do your thing. Exercise your civic duty. Temperatures in the lower 60s. It'll be a comfortable start once the polls open. Though no, there is the mention of a sprinkle. It's not going to be enough to derail any kind of plans to get out to the polling locations. Lunch break looking great. Upper 70s, lower 70s as we close these things up. Then we get to watch the returns. High pressure still in control for us. So it's going to be a nice, comfortable breeze tomorrow. By Wednesday, continuing to look good. And then by Thursday, a weak and dry front starts to push through the area. And Jason, this is why I said that this is going to be looking better because that that front actually helps to drop our overnight lows back into the 50s. Right now we're in the 60s. Not much of a change, but it's enough of a change that we're going to love it just a little bit more. So here's a look as we put everything together. Central Florida's most accurate seven day forecast today, 81 degrees. Tomorrow we'll wake up to 62. Not bad at all. 10% mention of a sprinkle for your election day Tuesday. Wednesday, a few more sprinkles. Thursday, that front kind of slides through and then we watch those morning lows for Veterans Day and of course Veterans Day weekend dropping into the 50s. The tropics, by the way, guys, as we push toward the end of hurricane season, remaining nice and quiet.